This is task 2A part 2. This is the pricing model where we are asked to try and work out what is going to be the total cost of a leasing car over a fixed period of time. In this question you're now introduced to the input data that is going to be used. So this is the data that a driving instructor can input and then calculations will be performed to find out how much that car actually costs. The first thing to do is let's put in the input data or at least space of the input data and then let's put in some space for the calculations as well. So we need a new worksheet because it says create a new worksheet called pricing model. So down here on our spreadsheet there's a little plus button we click on that that will create a new sheet and if I double click on it I can call that pricing model and we'll come back up to here I'm just going to zoom in onto my screen so that we can see what I'm doing together it's probably worth giving this a title so I'll call that pricing model I'm sure you can uh, change that to bold and make it bigger and things without me having to show you now let's have a look at the things. We know the list price of the car is going to form part of the total price. So let's put that a little bit further down here. List price. While we're there, let's put in the other things that form the total price. If we go back up our question, here are the other things that form the total price. Okay, now I'm just going to put these in a different order. I'm going to go for the easiest ones first. So registration fee is really easy because that's just going to be a straightforward figure. Uh, as is dual controls. CCTV is just going to be, well, if we have CCTV, it will be a fixed price. If we don't, it will be nothing. Then we'll have vehicle excise duty, which has got to be looked up in a table. Insurance can be quite complicated to work out. We've got a number of different percentages to look at. We've got our insurance tax, our insurance premium tax. I'll just call it insurance tax here. And then we've got our total cost. So at least we've got those parts of it. But what we do know is that the list price is going to be a variable. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it in yellow so that I know that it is an input value whereas all these others are calculations. So let's go back to the other input values that we've got to put in. We need a term, okay? That term is gonna be between one and five years. Well, let's put in the word years because that's not a unit that Excel would normally recognize. We've then got our transmission. This will need to be a drop box to select the type of transmission. We'll do the drop box in a moment. Then we're going to have whether or not we've got our alternative fuel and whether or not uh, we've got CCTV. I'm just going to write these in for a moment, but you'll see that we'll be removing them later. And then we're going to have the CO2 emissions. Right, now if you want to format the number 2, we just need to double click and just highlight that number 2 there. And if we right hand click, format the cells and change it to subscript. So that's the CO2. Right, so all, what we've done here is we've just created the space where we're going to be able to input the data. Right, so this is purely for the data input. We, uh, and then here we've put the space where we're going to perform the calculations. So the next video is going to talk you through setting up this area here so that you can put in the input data and any validation or check boxes uh, will be put in for you.